Robben Island was a place where apartheid, like in all prisons, was carried out. Before we talk about the day-to-day human rights violations of individual uh, prison warders, the mere fact that you were white, you were black, your clothing was different as if the weather treated you differently. Your food was different as if you, you became hungry in a different way. They spoke of slave working conditions, harsh physical treatment, and of the men who were their tormentors. In particular, a collection of five Hans brothers who cracked the whip during their time there. But you see where things really went wrong was in the, in the workplace. Now, one time, the Clenans brothers were coming to, to the Spain, and he says to the people, uh, those that have got uh, licenses, could they come one side? Oh, the chaps were very happy. They were going to drive trucks and things. <laughs> and then uh, they found themselves uh, pushing those wheelbarrows. Uh, some of them, we used to call them break my heart. Yes. My colleague has already indicated that uh, the had a high sense of sadistic humor. They would then call each other. Pit, pit, what was he? He said, not for me, kill me. Near me, Poco. Ons can you only kill me? Ons can you shoot me? The graver can you kill? And uh, they would say, "You will the land rehear. You can is the graf rehear ni. You will the land rehear. You can is the graver rehear ni." The type of uh, warder who was uh, in charge of us while we were in jail. I mean, the people. You heard some of the stories. They told about the distorted kind of uh, humor which they, which they had and how easy it was for them to resort to brutalities now these are these are human beings these are these are people like like you and me how did it come about that people should be should behave in the way in which these people behaved how did that happen the naidu family has been involved in south african resistance politics for several decades Theirs is a remarkable story of how four generations of the same family were undeterred by detention and torture. The Naidus of Dorfontein have been involved in the struggle for four generations of their family. Their involvement in politics dates as far back as the 1920s. Our family has actually been involved in the struggle for well over a century. already at the latter part of last century, was involved in the struggle. He is a founding member of the Transvaal Indian Congress. In fact, the first president of the Transvaal Indian Congress. He was a very close colleague and collaborator with Mahatma Gandhi. And the two of them organized a number of campaigns in the latter part of last century and the early part of this century. My grandfather has got a proud record of going to prison 14 times. In fact, on the 14th time, they threatened to expel him, kick him out of South Africa. But in spite of that, he went back to prison. My grandmother, who has also been to prison on a number of occasions, in fact gave birth while in prison to her last child. My father has been to prison in 1936 during the historical defiance campaign, a peasant resistance. He went again to jail in 1946 during the peasant resistance. He went to jail again in 1952 during the defiance campaign. I was first detained in 1965 on my way to visit Indres and Robben Island. I was arrested at the airport in Cape Town and was held overnight in a dark, 
filthy cell in Ruland Street prison. The next day I was taken to Swartzkop Aerodrome in Pretoria in a light military aircraft. I was driven to Pretoria Central Prison and stripped naked and searched. I was then detained in 1969 under Section Section 6 of the Terrorism Act and I was held for two weeks at the Fort here at the Women's Section Prison. I was arrested for the first time in my house in Lanasia at 5 a.m. on the 27th of November 1981. Within hours of my being detained, a major Abi grabbed me and smacked me. He beat me up, banged my head on the desk, and he said to me that I must give him the names of people who belong to the Internal Reconstruction and Development Department of the ANC, or I will die. When the fourth generation have been fully involved in the struggle, and they're all active today with the ANC Youth League and the various youth movements.